So SD cards are pretty much used in all of our devices that we at least use at some point in time during our day, whether it's cell phones, a lot of people's cell phones use SD cards, cameras use SD cards, our game consoles now with the Switch use SD cards, and of course our portables with the 3DS also use SD cards. It's pretty commonplace to need them and it's pretty much mainstream. Everybody for the most part probably has one in their house right now. And of course, the need for them to continue evolving quickly is uh, prevalent. Everyone needs them to continue evolving as fast as possible because we want more space and we want more speed, especially with how resolution is going 4K to 8K and who knows where else from there, and of course, space and pricing. We want pricing to come down, we want space to go up, and it looks like the SD Association has made a big move and has ex exponentially raised the amount of space that can now be targeted. Now I say targeted because the SD Association is not there to create SD cards, they're not there to manufacture or market them. They are there to put standards in place so that the manufacturers can create these SD cards with a certain standard. And these standards have just made the possibility of a 128 terabyte card a reality. Now before you start losing your mind and looking for where to pre-order, we're not gonna be seeing these for quite some time. This is the theoretical roof for these new cards that they have introduced the standards for. These are called SD Express. They have pretty much the logos and everything out for them. Remember originally we were on SD XC and those supported up to two terabytes. The Switch actually supports SD XC as well as a lot of cell phones and tablets do as well. Um, and this, the 128 terabyte will be using the SD Ultra capacity and it will be part of the SD 7.0 specification with a speed of up to 985 megabytes of throughput, which is obscene. That is very, very fast. That is nearly a gigabyte of speed, and that would work well for obvious things like high-resolution cameras and the like. Uh, I don't, games, I don't even know if they need that much, that much speed right now. That is very, very fast. I guess, you know, the most, as fast as you can get, the better, but man, that is pretty quick. Now, what does this mean for the end consumer? Right now, nothing. It doesn't mean anything. What it does mean, though, is that the future for SD cards has just been uh, massively, massively uh, raised at this point, right? Because now we know that there is a standard in place for these manufacturers to try to figure out how to create very large SD cards. Keep in mind, 128 terabytes is simply the theoretical roof. Keep in mind, the theoretical roof is a two terabyte card for SDXC, but we still, for the most part, can buy mainstream anyway, 400 gigabyte cards, at least right now. You can go online, you can buy them, and you can have them shipped to your house now if you want from Amazon. But we don't really have much that's larger than that. We heard about a 512 gigabyte card. I haven't really seen it though since we heard it announced. Maybe some people got like early copies or press copies. I haven't seen it myself. And of course, the other question is, when would we see these and how expensive would they be? Well, I, <laughs> I can tell you one thing. I'm sure they would be a much better value than the 64 gigabyte cards uh, for the Vita. Yo, I didn't, uh, didn't see you there, Vita. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not really your fault, though. I mean, Sony didn't really put you in a good spot with those memory cards. And, uh, you know, cheer up. We'll tell you what. We'll go get a game for you, okay? We'll go do that after we're done here. We'll go out and get you a game. Um, actually, you know what? We can't. It's going to be a couple days, actually, because nowhere around us really sells stuff for you anymore. And I guess we'll have to get secondhand stuff since no one really sells it new online that much anymore, at least not easily. Uh, you know what? I'm not making this any better, actually. You t tell you what, why don't you, why don't you, uh, yep, there you go. Why don't you, why don't you go off and we'll get some kill zone mercenaries going. Uh, you know, feel, feel better, feel better. Things will get better. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't been, he hasn't been much better since uh, Sony stopped sending him birthday cards. It's, it's tough for any three-year-old to go through that. In order to reach these speeds, they are doing something that will be very difficult for any prior devices to be able to use, and they're going to be incorporating PCIe or PCI Express lanes, and they'll also be using NVMe, which is something that SSDs have been using for quite some time now to get very, very fast speeds. And we, of course, have controllers on the SSDs that give them uh, much 
much faster speeds and larger capacities, all of which seems to be pretty much figured out in this new SD 7.0 specification, and it's exciting. Now, the thing is, they're going to apparently have backwards compatibility will be a part of this, but I don't think this is going to be something we'll see in the Switch's lifetime, just to be completely honest with you. I don't even know if the next Switch will be fully compatible with NVMe or PCIe. I'd like to say that it would because that could be potentially, you know, four years from now or five years from now because I'm sure we'll have some kind of revisions going forward here to extend the life of the Switch. And I'd like to think at that point we would get there and you'd be able to go out and buy a, a four terabyte SD card without any issues, right? Since the roof is 128 terabyte and very, very fast to the point where SSDs will have some serious competitions by SD cards. That would be pretty cool and it'd be pretty exciting because of course they're smaller and they're a bit more portable than an SSD. But let me know what you guys think about these specifications, this new, uh, this new standard put out by the SD Association. Are you excited to hear that 120, what am I gonna do with 128 terabytes in an SD card, right? That, that's insane. And really, do you think we'd ever actually get there? Or do you think another standard will be introduced before we get there? Like kind of how this has happened with XDSC, where we had a 128 terabyte standard now introduced that I'm sure some of these companies will start to kind of move to before we got to that two terabyte theoretical that is with SDXC. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think they'll even cost? Thousands of dollars? It's hard to say. But uh, I, I guess we'll see. And then when do you think we'll see something from the SD Express line? Do you think it'll be three or four years from now? We'll see the first offerings at something like a CES, right? Somewhere in the Consumer Electronics Trade Show. Somewhere in there. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm very curious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If not, hit the dislike. Leave comments down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for Newswave.